Hola a todos, espero que se encuentren bien. Les traigo un video bastante distinto a los que estamos acostumbrados, pero creo que les va a gustar. Este video es gracioso, educativo y un poco triste a la vez. En el quinto lugar tenemos a Mir Barak, un inversionista aquí en YouTube que nos da información bastante beneficiosa, explica ciertos temas correctamente y pues es un inversionista minoritario respetable. Pero en este video vamos a ver cómo pierde casi 50 mil dólares en menos de 15 minutos. Hi traders, I'm Long Tesla, I'm taking a big risk. It came down as you can see, started with a big gap up, came down, reversed, I'm going for this reversal, I'm long, just over 369. And it's up now, but it's extremely dangerous because it's the first few minutes of the trading session and I don't know which direction Tesla's gonna pick, but as you can see, I'm already up 10 grand and it's looking good. I'm having some trouble here with Tesla. It just failed to move higher and it's getting back to the lows where I should have my stop. I'm getting ready to stop it. I'm already down $14,000. That's very bad. That's very bad. I need to see it stopping just a bit, relaxing a bit. Oh, what a spike down. I do not move out on spikes. Look at that. That's terrible. $27,000 down. You know, the case with Tesla is that it's strong today. I'm looking at the daily. Tesla should move up today, but I'm down 33,000. This is terrible. It's spike down. I do not move out on spikes. It is moving down. Just close the gap. I expect it to stop somewhere around here because when the stock is moving down, closing the gap, at many, many, many times it would find its support right over there at the point where it closes the gap. And this should be it right here. And again, the market started down a bit, but I'm looking at the day of the market. I expect the market to move higher. I expect Tesla to move higher today. I hope I'm not mistaken here. It just spiked down. I do not move out on spikes, although I'm starting to be to feel sorry about this one. Down 32, 35,000 dollars. Oh my God, this is terribly. Su pérdida fue bastante grande, pero algo me dice que se va a recuperar de esa pérdida. Si quieren ver cómo terminó toda esa historia, quédense hasta el final del video. En cuarto lugar tenemos a Max Santia. Esta persona perdió 6 mil dólares en aproximadamente 30 segundos, si lo pueden creer. Su mayor error fue no leer bien cómo funcionan ciertos productos en la bolsa de valores. Si hubiera leído bien y entendido bien, si hubiera sabido que estaba comprando, no hubiera perdido ese dinero y pudo haber ganado mucho. El error que cometió Max fue bastante básico. Esta persona compró contratos de Tesla un día antes de la publicación del de reporte de ganancias, pero se le olvidó considerar el factor teta. Entonces, esta persona compró opciones con un precio objetivo razonal. Sin embargo, el periodo de validez del contrato era bastante corto. Vencía básicamente el día siguiente. Entonces, sí, su contrato entró en the money, pero nadie lo quería comprar porque vencía ese mismo día. Entonces, al momento de apertura de la bolsa, esta persona empezó a perder muchísimo. Patrick Wieland es otro individuo 
que transmite en vivo sus acciones en el mercado y también educa a otros inversionistas, el error que esta persona cometió fue bastante básico igual. Hacía transacciones con mucha emoción. No se fijaba realmente en lo que estaba invirtiendo. De hecho, no conocía la empresa para la cual estaba comprando acciones, comprando cortos y comprando opciones. No sabía nada, nada más entró en puro FOMO y empezó a comprar a lo loco, vaya. Y empezó a comprar sin considerar absolutamente nada. Y al final de cuenta, él perdió muchísimo dinero en menos, en un plazo bastante corto. I don't really have a solid plan as of yet. I am keeping an eye on BLNK. There are shares to short. We'll see what BLNK does this morning. This thing yesterday making a big old spike, big old run up there at open. So we're going to see. We're going to see if this can hold it. It's up on news, Whole Foods, something, ah, something charging station, or something going on there with BLNK. So we're going to see what happens here at open. You have a little bit of time. So let's see BLNK kind of work itself back up here a little bit. See if we can get filled here at 520. Having some trouble there at the 524. Wow, there's the drop. Oh, so not getting filled there at 520. Oh, that stinks. Oh, man. Come on now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Try to get filled there at 520. All right, so let's see. Now if this $5 area turns into a resistance here. So it looks like looking nice for some little pop back up here. Wow. Oh, gotta be kidding me now. 480s now. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my baby Jesus. That 520 entry would have been so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Let's see if we can get filled here. 6010, not getting filled. Trying to get filled there twice at 610 area. It's not getting filled. Ugh, come on now. We'll try 500 here at 599. On BLNK. I'm looking for this pull back down to the 560s. We got 565 so far. Looking for a little bit deeper here. 560, give me 560, baby. Come on. I want to see BLNK get down there to the 560s. Come on, baby, get down there. Right here, come on. 560s, come on, baby. Drop on me. Get on down there, get on down there. It's gonna explode there, I'm gonna jump out. Wow, now it dropped. Wow, are you kidding me? Oh! Thought this was gonna break back above $6 right there and just fail. Down there to 565. It was really holding this trend there, holding the EMA. I thought, oh, it's gonna explode again. Oh, you know, seeing this move earlier. Look at that fake out. Total fake out, wow. Oh! I'll try to buy dip here see if we can't change this up a little bit all right got the full fill there wow there's a drop on the 530s see this pulls back up there i want to get out for that loss i was hoping that 550 area would hold as support look at it now getting crushed that was a bad idea real bad idea Terrible idea, actually. Watch it, just going down here. Down $200 now. I'm trying to get some type of pop back up here, but it just does not. Looks like it's about to get halted or something. Getting halted on the down. Oh my god. Worst case scenario right now. Worst case scenario. Oh ho 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 ho. Worst case scenario. Wow. Sam Trader es otro inversionista profesional que se dedica a transmitir en vivo sus movimientos, además de educar a otros inversionistas minoritarios. El error que cometió Tom fue bastante distinto a los otros, es decir, esta persona sí estaba haciendo las cosas bien, nada más que no leyó bien la gráfica y al momento de poner su stop loss lo puso demasiado conservador. Entonces cuando su posición iba a ser la baja debido a la volatilidad, su stop loss vendió su posición antes de lo debido. Entonces había la posibilidad de que su posición se tornara verde. Sin embargo, el sistema no lo dejó jugar. Por eso incluso antes de activar mecanismos que nos pueden beneficiar y minimizar nuestro riesgo, tenemos que analizar exactamente qué estamos haciendo o nos puede salir bastante mal. If the Nasdaq begins to trade above 940, we really should be buyers of it. Let's see if there's any. Because we got an inside bar here. Edit, here we go. 
I'm thinking this stop loss might actually be way too tight. I'm in here. This is what the chart looks like. Let's see if we got any bias in this area at all. Oh my god, I'm absolutely being hosed today. Not working. Take a miracle not to get stopped out here. Ah. Fuck. Classic. Just went above that bar where I thought we were going to be biased. Right here. Just went above it. Two bar reversal, back down again. I got stopped out. Thought, this is it, we're gonna break out again. I read that wrong. Y por último tenemos a Chansey, 1979. Un inversionista minoritario que se atrevió a transmitir en vivo sus posiciones. Esta persona compró acciones de una empresa justo antes de que bajara un porcentaje importante. Y lamentablemente, en menos de 30 segundos perdió 1500 dólares. Okay, I just long some AMRN right here uh, off of this support right here. Uh, bounced up a little bit, uh, past this uh, 50 period moving average. Uh, good thing this chance, uh, good chances think you go green. So, you know, maybe maybe uh, make a nice little chunk along the thousand shares. Let's see what happens with this thing. Okay, come on, come on, just keep on moving. Shit. Shit. Come on, man. Well, fuck, it's got some support right here, so, you know, maybe it'll hang on to this 16 area, bounce back up, come on. Oh, shit! Oh, shit, dude! What the fuck? I just lost 1,500 bucks, what the fuck? Oh, shit! Oh, no, no! Y creo que hasta aquí lo vamos a terminar, ¿no? Si les gustó, por favor, compártanlo y suscríbanse. Que tengan bonita noche. Y para terminar con una buena nota, les dejo la segunda parte de la transacción que hizo Mr. Barra, la persona que está en el lugar número 5. Entonces, después de perder una buena cantidad de dinero, él holdió, se mantuvo su posición, no le dio miedo y terminó ganando una fuerte cantidad. Es la parte green territory. Well, it's playing in between green and red. But the market's now moving higher and I'm feeling much, much better. Oh, look at Tesla. Look at Tesla goes and grand. Oh, here we go. This may not turn to be such a terrible day after all. I was down $49,000, 14 minutes into the trading session. Now let's see if something can change here. Because Tesla definitely makes a move now. 16,000, 19,000, 24. Oh, come on, Tesla. Do it. Do it. Here we go. $26,000, $29,000, it's going, it's way too extended, I don't see how it can continue much farther than that, but it does, $39,000, $40,000, $45,000, $46,000, go on Tesla, any sign of a pullback, any sign, now, took my partial over $40,000, wow, that's a game changer for me today, started so bad started so bad and now tesla came in and roku came to the rescue things are changing